Today I'm going to be reviewing the ESV Student Study Bible, and this is from Crossway. And this Bible's been out for a little while, but they did come out with a new cover option this month, and that is um, natural leather. Um, it's brown, and it has the flap with the strap, which I'll show you in just a minute here. So you probably are familiar with the ESV Study Bible. I know it's one of my favorite study Bibles, so I was interested to take a look at the ESV Student Study Bible and see um, some of the similarities and differences between the two. So today I'm just going to show the Student Study Bible. I will come back here in the next couple weeks and do a comparison of the Student Study Bible with um, the ESV Study Bible. So for the ESV Student Study Bible, this one's going to have 12,000 clear, concise study notes, um, introduction, introductions and timelines for each book of the Bible, 80 plus maps and illustrations throughout, 10 topical articles, nearly 900 did you know facts, 120 Bible character profiles, 80,000 cross references, extensive concordance, and then of course it's going to be adapted from the award-winning ESV study Bible, which like I said, I will come back and do a comparison of those two Bibles. So here, we can take a look at this here. I don't have mine like tucked in right now. You can kind of tuck your strap in different ways to keep it from flopping around. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the strap. It doesn't really like bother me that it would prevent me from buying the Bible, but it does kind of just, you know, you have to tuck it in to the side, whatever, when you're using it. So just be aware of that. Kind of like knot it in here and then wrap it around when you're having the Bible closed. I do like the feeling of the cover. It's nice and smooth, has that nice leather smell to it. Um, the, on the spine, we're going to have ESV Student Study Bible and Crossway. So once you open this up here, you can see we have like a natural kind of cut leather here with a um, paste down liner. There is no page gilding on this one. There is a little pen loop here too, if you're interested in that, using that. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a presentation page. My fingers apparently didn't get the memo that they need to turn pages today, but we'll get there. Table of contents. And we have a list of charts and diagrams, which there's pretty many in here. So it gives you the title and the page number. List of character profiles on this page. List of illustrations. All of these have the page number along with them, which is helpful, of course. A list of abbreviations. And then we're going to get an introduction, a user's guide to the ESV Student Study Bible. So it's going to give you a purpose. Um, divine words and merely human words, kind of giving you... Um, explaining the difference, of course, between scripture and man-made study notes, um, an understanding and teaching of God's word, doctrinal perspective, special features, um, and talking about the ESV study Bible versus the ESV student study Bible, and then the goal and vision. Also includes um, information about the cross-references and concordance as well. Okay, then we're going to get a preface to the English Standard Version. an overview of the Bible, and then we're going to jump into the Old Testament next. So we have an article here, The Theology and Dates of the Old Testament. Show a little chart along with it with a kind of a timeline here talking about like the patriarchs through the judges. United Monarchy, Divided Monarchy to Exile, then Return from Exile. And then some Old Testament dates. This is the Hebrew calendar compared to the Gregorian or our modern calendar. And then we're going to get our introduction to the book of Genesis. So the introduction gives you a timeline. It gives you author, date, and recipients, theme, key themes, an outline, then we have a map here showing the Near East at the time of Genesis, and then we get into our scripture. So this Bible is a nice compact size. 
Um, one of the downsides to that is the font is a little smaller. So if you have trouble reading smaller font, you probably want to. Well, excuse me. You're probably going to want to go with the ESV Study Bible because that offers some larger font options. So this one is going to be um, double column layout. It is an eight point font with the notes being around a seven. So they we have the scripture up here. It separates with a line just like you um, see in a lot of study Bibles. And then you're going to have your study notes down here below. You're also going to see in this student study Bible these did you know. So you can see there this one says did you know in the Hebrew Bible the title of Genesis is in the beginning. The book's first words. The English title is related to the Greek word Genesis, which means beginning. Then you're going to have your cross references. Whoops, let's actually show you those. Cross references here at the bottom of the page. So this isn't a full color Bible, but it does have kind of that copper color in here to break it up a little bit. So that's always nice. I always like to have some kind of um, color in there to kind of break up the study Bibles especially. Uh, your chapter numbers are going to be in that color. You're going to see like here's a character profile on Adam, um, the did you know. They're going to be in those kind of like copper brown color, which is nice. It breaks up the study notes a little bit. Um, in the study notes, the reference uh, to the chapter and verse number, those are bolded, make it a little easier to find. Um, headings are also bolded in the scripture. For being such a small font, I will say that this one is, isn't terrible to read. It's just something to be aware of if you do have trouble with that smaller font. Um, in a compact Bible, then you may want to consider getting the full ESV study Bible instead. You can see lots of charts included. This is a chronology of Noah's time in the ark. I have used this quite a few times now, but not enough to really break it in yet. So you can see I'm kind of holding it open right now here in Genesis yet, but that will come with time. It will break in nicely with use. I've only had this maybe like, I don't know, two, three weeks now, so I haven't had it very long. Like I said I've used it, but it, I just need to use it more to get it to be nice and broken in. So again, you can see the character profiles we have in the kind of copper colored box, the did you knows, there's some charts included throughout, and timelines, and then we have our traditional study notes that you would see in a study Bible. Now, you're, as you're going to see when I do the comparison video of this in the ESV study Bible, this, the notes are condensed in this one, so you're not going to see every note that's in the ESV study Bible in this one. Some of them are also worded a little differently, kind of make it easier to understand as, as it is a student study Bible. So just be aware of that as well. This is great if you're able to read that eight point font and notes in about a seven. So if that doesn't bother you, this would be a great one to take on the go because it's nice and compact, but yet you have um, a bunch of resources and study notes and everything in here to help you like if you're going to Bible study or you're doing a little study on your lunch break at work, this has a lot of resources in that can help you. This would also be great for uh, a student, like in high school, college, um, who's doing some Bible study. This would be a great addition for them as well. But I will say, even though this does say student study Bible, I mean, I'm obviously, I will say, I'm obviously not student age anymore. I mean, you can go back to school anytime you want, so I shouldn't say that, but I'm not a high school or college student at this point in my life. Um, but I don't find this to be something that when I open it up, like, oh, it's too easy for me, or, oh, it's, you know, there's not enough in here, or it's like, you know, anything like that. So I don't have any issues with that. So really any age could use this Bible. Just because it says student doesn't mean that, oh, I can't use it because it says student study Bible. It's just going to have more condensed notes and just uh, it has the did you know which I don't think the ESV study Bible has but still great study notes there's nothing wrong with these it's not like you have to be like a high school student or a college student to be able to enjoy this Bible so we are now in the New Testament and you can see here this is a black letter text Let 
let's go ahead and get to, I think I just turned right to the back of the Bible. Yes, I did. That was lucky. All right, so we have articles and resources at the back of the Bible. We have God's plan of salvation article. We have the importance of the church for growing in Christ. The authority and reliability of the Bible. How to read and understand the Bible. So these are some great articles, too, that I'm going to come back and read as well. I've read some of them, but not all of them yet. How to apply the Bible in daily life. It's always helpful. Important Christian truths, doctrine. That's a longer one. There we go. Okay, the Bible and Christian living, ethics. So you can see that even though this is a student Bible, there's a lot of resources here in the back of the Bible as well. Then we have a glossary. Let's see. I want to show you every page in the glossary. It might be a little much. But I think, I think the concordance is right after that. Double check because I don't want to tell you wrong. But yes, after the glossary, then we have a table of weights and measures and we have a concordance. And then we're going to get, after the concordance, a list of contributors. And then we get our maps. Several of these. Then we're going to get to the end of our Bible. So the ESV Student Bible is a great option if you are looking for um, an ESV study Bible with some condensed notes, uh, maybe some notes that are easier to understand, a little less overwhelming, because the ESV Study Bible, as much, I love it. It's one of my favorite study Bibles. It can be a lot. There's a lot in there. If you were just trying to do more of reading but you want to have a couple study notes and resources in there as well this would be a great option for that a great option for a high school or college student who's getting into bible study so just an all-around really nice bible and like i said i will come back and do a comparison of this with the esv study bible so you can see kind of what um, they look like side by side but this is a great compact option if you enjoy the esv and want to have um, some extra notes and resources in your bible then you'd want to check out the ESV Student Study Bible.